There is a flat area on the Adeki coastal conurbation separating Las Americas to the south from Los Cristianos to the north that we have not yet fully explored. Our video centres around the Spring Hotel Pitacora in the centre of this area and a few local places with an easy walking distance. But for the more adventurous amongst you, there is a wide range of attraction in Tenerife from theme parks, fishing trips, escorted tours, including a trip to the summit of the world's highest island volcano, the 12,000 foot Mount Daly. The hotel and grounds are in a square configuration where two sides of the square are hotel buildings and the remainder pools and recreation. So where is the Bitacora? Well you will find it at the junction of Calais, California on the Avenida Antonio Dominguez along with the hotels La Siesta, the Optimist Apartments, the Volcano, the Best Tenerife and the H10 Conquistador in Las Americas. The Bitacora is one of three spring hotels in this area. The other two are the Volcano and in Los Cristianos the Arona Grande. The Bitacora main entrance on Calais, California, which is a cul-de-sac off Antonio Dominguez. Fancy some pedal power? Well, you can hire them. This is a binnacle, a piece of ship's furniture where navigational instruments are housed and from which the hotel gets its name, Bitacora. During our stay, the hotel was in the final stages of renovation of the last 36 rooms part of the reception area and the construction of an additional lift. The room service lifts stop at ground level. There is a separate lift on this floor that takes wheelchairs or pushchairs one floor down to the restaurant and poolside. If you are looking for your holiday rep, they use this area. The hotel has Wi-Fi to most areas including rooms, but during our stay there seemed to be some interruption to the service. We were told it was due to refurbishment. There were three lifts. Our lift was located to the extreme right of reception. A word of advice. You will be given two cards. The usual door key card that opens the door and activates the room electrics. The other must be shown each time you use the restaurant. The door key card is also required when you purchase drinks, all of which seems a touch autocratic, so you have been warned. Four one eight is a standard room with a pool view. Our holiday coincided with my birthday and the hotel acknowledged it. What a nice surprise! But that was not all. One of our relatives contacted the hotel and arranged for another bottle to be sent to our room. Well that's the first. 418 was a spacious room on the fourth floor with ensuite, fridge, safe, a TV sporting English channels air conditioning and a balcony. For those who may not be aware, the room electrics, including the aircon, only work when your keycard is inserted in the internal room card slot. The first place we look at in any hotel room is the bathroom. In this case, it was faultless. The view from the balcony was mostly of the pool area and adjacent hotels, but on occasions it was possible to get a glimpse of the sea and the island of La Gomera some 50 kilometres away. We soon came to realise that the Bitacora was in every respect both clean and well maintained. <laughs> 
Even at this time in the morning, the town people were out and about, though I have to say, not in large numbers. The roofed area below is part of the bar and also where the evening entertainment is presented. Although for us it could be a little noisy, mid-afternoon by the pool for about an hour or so, evening entertainment stopped between 11 to 11.30 p.m. The service, and particularly that of the staff, was extremely good. We couldn't truthfully fault them. Gentlemen, a dress code requires you to wear trousers in the restaurant in the evening, definitely no shorts. Although the food was not exceptional, it was both varied and plentiful. On one evening, there was a chocolate fountain that formed a sort of centrepiece. From purely personal observation, the hot food was occasionally not all that hot. So let's have a quick look at the hotel recreation areas. Even at 7.30am, the same people were securing their deck lounges. Well, what can I say? Leading away from the pool bar is a small inclined red path that will take you to a fenced children's play area with a self-locking gate. Whatever you may think of the enclosure, it is secure, which offers safety for the children and peace of mind for the parents. This is the poolside entrance to the games room that can also be reached from the restaurant level. Well, all these hotels have a room like this. There are two entertainment areas, one on the restaurant level for the small children of the daytime and on the bar level another for the big children the night time. This is a view of the island of La Gomera and a much closer look through the heat haze. Referred to as the magic island because sometimes you can see it and sometimes you don't. Meanwhile below us some people are having fun on the water slide. Just across the road is a supermarket and a little further on a pharmacy. Outside the best Tenerife hotel is a bus stop. 
on Avenida Antonio Dominguez is a side entrance to our hotel that takes you to an outside terrace and on into the bar. Across the road is the sister hotel Vulcano. Take the pedestrian way to the left of this hotel and it will lead you to the English style corner bar. Well it is on a corner. Continuing along the Antonio Dominguez past the La Siesta Hotel, you will cross the Avenida Rafael Puigia Juvina and past the H10 Conquistador on your left, which will bring you to the Atlantic Ocean. Turning right at the seafront will take you along the Geranium Walk into Central Las Americas. And yes, there is a McDonald's. Across there in the distance is Duque, the upmarket part of New Decky Conversion. And the best price is true. Back to our starting point, but this time turn left towards Los Cristianos. This coastal path is much longer than the direct route along Rafael Puigia Lovina. A couple of years ago, we purchased some items from this shop, but it's closing down now. A sign of the times, I suppose. We liked this Dutch-style bar on our last visit two years ago, so we came back again this year, and the proprietors remembered us. If you fancy a trip to La Gamera, there are two ferries, the faster Fred Olsen Express in about 40 minutes and the slower trailer ferry Armas, which does the same trip in about 70 minutes and I think there are three sailings per day. Of Tenerife you can always say there's an inexhaustible supply of restaurants and bars that will suit every pocket and taste. Most of the places we are showing you are up to about 15 minutes walk away, except for Los Cristianos which is at least double that time. The Hard Rock Cafe in there. How different it all looks at night. Most resorts seem to come alive at night with bright lights, music and plenty of holiday atmosphere. We are going window shopping. Yes, well maybe the odd trinket or two. Monkey Bar. It has a great location and looks good, but the service was very poor, so we never returned. Across the road from Zara on the Avenida Las Americas is the Vista Sur shopping centre and the beginning of Los Cristianos. Remember, I mentioned the coastal route? 
Well, this is where it arrives. The Bitacora is a good all-round, family-friendly hotel in a central location. For us, however, the lack of a full sea view detracted from its appeal, but also because the entertainment was often just a little too noisy for us, but maybe not for the rock chicks around us. Mm -hmm.